In this video, you'll learn how to set up Fish ID warping in the WiseNet Wave client. To get started, right click on the camera and go to camera settings. Then go to the dewarping tab and move the toggle to enable dewarping and choose the fish eye type and then choose the mounting method. Most of the time they're mounted on the ceiling, but it could be on the wall. Then choose your lens projection. Most current WiseNet cameras are stereographic. Then click the auto calibrate button to find the round circular fisheye image and then click apply to save. Once you do that, back on your main screen, it will enable the fisheye dewarping icon that's now on the top menu bar. When you click it, it will show you a 90 degree view of the camera. You can then click and drag to pan and tilt and zoom around the screen. There also are on screen zoom in and out options. You can click the 90 degree to change to 180 or 360 degree views. You can also open up the original source image and the dewarp at the same time. You can open up multiple dewarping windows. You can create custom layouts that you can then save as needed. You can also use the zoom windows icon to create zoom areas on your fisheye image and the system will know to automatically dewarp that image that you see. You can do dewarping for live video as well as playback. So here you can see we're in the playback mode and we have the same controls that we have before. We can do a motion search, we can find when something happened and be able to dewarp or view the raw fisheye image however you want. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.